Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jahan, your plant enthusiast. So as much as possible, I would like to speak in English. Kaya ko naman kasi there are so many viewers of mine who are requesting for me to speak in English kasi hindi nila naiintindihan and I find it talaga na mahirap mag gumawa ng subtitle sa video kasi it takes time so as much as possible I want to speak in English just a taglish vlog kinda if you are uh, a viewer of mine at naiirita kayo sa English ko pagpasensyahan nyo na po kasi I just want to cater those of viewers of mine outside the Philippines. So for today's video guys, I is save natin tong mga camouflage na ito. Kasi parang naging lonely sila. Tsaka parang dehydrated sila. So is save natin sila. There are three pots of them. Now, background lang nitong mga camouflage Camouflage. Usually, other people refer these camouflage na caladium. But actually, nung niripat namin ang mga ibang alocasias namin, we found out that their bulbs are not like the bulbs of caladium. So, their bulbs are the same with alocasias. So, that's why it's very true. And when you Google them, they are really referred to alocasia na genus. Maybe there are other caladiums na camouflage. But, pinagbabasihan yun ay ang kanila mga bulbs. So, kailangan ko lang i-film tong journey na to sa pag re o pag papanumbalik ng sigla nitong alocasia just in case may mga tao ding uh, ganito ang problema so simple lang naman gagawin natin iriripat lang natin sa sa bagong sisidlan kasi pareho din yan sa tao you want something that makes you grow you want a new environment so yan ang gagawin natin sa plants natin particularly this alocasia camouflage na iriripat natin so for the soil same soil ang ginagamit natin we have uh, mud press garden soil uh, rice hull cow manure at uh, a little coco cubes para may aeration dito sa ating lupa. The big change na gagawin natin dito sa alocasia natin na camouflage ay ilalagay natin siya sa new environment niya para manumbalik. And I will film that one uh, sa mga progress niya. So let's start. So as you can see, meron tayong dito ang tatlong pots ng camouflage. And yan. And kung makikita nyo, uh, parang overuse na itong lupa niya. And we need to transfer these three into the new ano, lupa kasi parang na, over, na use ng mga nutrients ito. And we need to put them in a shady area para manumbalik ang kanyang lakas. So that's it. So I have prepared already three used water bottles, recycled bottles, and new soil. So guys, wala na maka-fancy-fancy ang gagawin natin. All we have to do is to repot this alocasia camouflage at ipanumbalik natin ang kanyang sigla at upang dumami siya magkaroon siya ng maraming mga uh, suhi so yan gagawin natin so kung mapapansin nyo halos lahat ng mga pots namin ay recycled uh, water bottles po yan for sustainability and eco-friendly purposes po ang gagawin natin so let's get this one so matigas siya and I think nag-clog na ang lupa niya sa ilalim and feel ko lang pinamahayan na to ng kung ano-ano mga earthworms na nandito. So, kaya siguro tumigas ang kanyang pagtubo. And, we need to get this alocasia out of this place. Na pinaglagyan niya. So, yan. So, itong nangyari sa kanya. So, guys, di ba sabi ko sa inyo, uh, noong nag kami ng iba pang alocasia, camouflage, we thought na sila ay caladiums but according to the bulbs tinan nyo, hindi sila caladiums ito ay isang alocasia that's why from now on we call this one as alocasia camouflage so yan lang, kunin natin and then we will repot them we will lagay natin sa bagong ano nila bagong place So, ito yung usually ginagawa namin if ever we found out that ang mga halaman namin ay parang natatamlay, parang ayaw na niyang dumami, ayaw niya na mabuhay sa mundo. So, nire-repot namin sila. Um, kung hindi namin pinapalitan ng soil ay dinadagdagan namin ng soil na mataba. And we support them with mga natural fertilizers para 
tumubo sila. Yan. Tara, tapos na tayo sa isa. We still have two more. And same process pa rin. So, kung makikita nyo ito ay okay naman siya. Pero kaso lang. Napansin ko, aside from na na use na talaga ang lupa niya is napaka-dry niya and it's our fault. Kasi ano naman, hindi naman sa nabibiligan. So, we need to cut this one. Hanap lang ako ng scissors na may And by the way pala, ito ginamit natin may mga butas po to sa ilalim para ano tawag dyan? well ah, well drained well drained ano po to fat so that's it we are done with the second one and let's go to the last half so we're down to the last uh, pot and may tumubo na alocasia black magic dito sa isang pot na to so mind you guys I would like to repeat na ang paglalagyan natin um, recycled water bottle ay well drained po yan kasi pinutasan po yan sa ilalim malaki ang butas mo yan so itong isa I found out na nakaklag na ang kanyang soil matigas na so talagang we need to transfer them in a new uh, pot environment so we need to cut this save this alopecia camouflage kasi napakamahal nito and everyone is desiring to have this type of alopecia. Sometimes nga, just like I said, others prefer them as caladiums. So we have a new here. So, if you are concerned, if nagkakamay lang ako, it's okay, mahubugas naman ako ng gamay. I like it to plant talaga uh, when I'm using my hands without any gloves. Sometimes I use gloves, but most of the time I really use their hands because I want to feel the moisture of the soil, moisture content of the soil. I want to feel the condition of the plants. I want to feel anything. <laughs> Feeler. So again, if you do repotting of your plants, please make sure that you do it in the afternoon because it's not patingkad ang sinag ng araw and kasi expose ang roots niya and we won't allow na ang roots niya may expose sa so, sobrang init ng araw kasi na, nalalamlay yun nagiging mahina ang plants so we do it in the afternoon so, as always every part of repotting after it talagang dinidiligan natin ng tubig So, in this case, nilagyan ko na maraming tubig kasi super dry siya. Nilagay kasi namin to siya sa area na kung saan dumadaloy ang tubig. And we thought na sisipin niya ang mga tubig na doon. Pero, I think that's because naklag ang ilalim ng lupa niya and hindi na makasipsip niya maraming tubig doon sa, ano, sa mga ugat niya. And one of the reasons naman na parang hindi na siya sumisipsip is ang ilalim ng lupa niya ay na-accumulate ng mga ugat ng breadfruit and that's one of the major causes talaga ng pananamlay ng mga pananim namin dito sa amin kasi malaki ang tree ng breadfruit. So the last uh, part of this repotting is we need to put them in a very shady area na kung saan hindi aabot ang uh, ugat ng breadfruit. So I will just take a video after I put them. So guys, ito ang pinaglagyan natin sa ating newly repotted na alocasia camouflage. And dito banda is shady naman siya. And you just need to have a regular watering sa kanya. Kasi kung, mapansin nyo, kung napapansin nyo kanina sa video natin is napaka dry ng soil niya. Para manumbalik ang sigla ng ating alocasia camouflage. So I'll just update you guys on this one. For now, thank you very much for watching and see you guys in my next video. Bye!
Hello.